Since we're going to be programming the cloud in this presentation, let's take just a minute to talk about why you might want to use the cloud. The first reason is so that you can save costs. If you have to buy, host, and manage a server, it is a very costly thing. The cloud, even though it's not free, is cheaper than buying, hosting, and managing your own server. In addition, the cloud offers improved uptime. Most cloud providers can guarantee 99.999% uptime. Now, if you have your own server, you may not be so lucky. The cloud is very, very scalable. For instance, if your web app is doing OK this week and next month and so forth, and you have plenty of capacity, but next year your business really picks up and your web app gets slammed, the cloud can come and help you. You can get extra bandwidth and extra storage easily in the cloud without any extra development time. The cloud is also very easy to use. It really doesn't take a rocket science to use the cloud and to program to it. And lastly, you'll get to reduce your IT staff or at least your reliance on IT contractors. The cloud doesn't require any IT staff. All you have to do is upload your application and it's ready to go. When I did a Google search looking for cloud services, I got 180 million results. There are lots of cloud service providers. Be very, very careful when you select one. You don't want them to go out of business in six months. I feel very comfortable with the Microsoft products, so I'm going to show you Microsoft Azure. And as you can see, I've got my account opened up here in front of you. And I'd just like to point out that this is the server name. And that server is what I will use on my connect string for my application. So let's go ahead and design our SQL database. We need to log in here. And let's go ahead. We'll make this ID an identity. This will be a pretty simple table. Last, first, and I think that's probably enough. We'll make both of these 50 and we'll give them default values. Okay. Then all we have to do is save it. Now that was an easy table creation process. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a query. If we do select star from people, you won't see anything since there's nothing in the table. Okay, so here we go. Let's insert some data. Um, last first values that's me of course and we'll run this query and there we go and if we go back and we do a select this is similar to any other database um, tool you've used before okay so that covers the Azure management part of it Okay, let's go ahead and develop an application. As you can see here on the screen, I've just got a basic application shell. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and paste in some boilerplate database access code. Here's my connection string. And you should notice the server name. That was what I pointed out when we were in the Azure Management Console. It's got the database, my login information. It's exactly as if I was logging onto a local database. So just to make sure this is working before we actually add any other code, let's go ahead and set a breakpoint and debug to that point and just make sure that we, we are able to, to make the connection. So step over this and sure enough it connected. It goes to the finally closest to connection 
we're, we're good. Okay. Get rid of that breakpoint there. The next thing I'm going to do is add two methods that do some useful database access. The first one is going to query the database and then display all the database records that it finds. And here we're just going to do a simple select. The other one is going to add a database record. It just does an insert based on whatever's here in first and last. Actually, we're going to add three calls to these methods. So let me just go ahead and paste them in. Now, right now, there should only be one database record. It will have my name. After we add the database record with Sam Sneed's name, then we'll show the database records again. And we should have that additional row in the database. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. There you go. Perfect. As you can see, this is exactly like programming to a local database. Azure is easy. As you've seen, programming with Azure is very, very easy. In fact, most of the cloud platforms make it very easy too. Cloud programming solves many IT problems. It also solves many business problems.